All right, the first thing we gotta do, brush off all the old foam backer there. Pull this down, with the heavy duty brush there. Next thing you gotta do is get the uh, tape down on the door so you don't get any of the adhesive on the actual door panel. Well, that would be pretty miserable to get off, I imagine. So everything's taped up. We got a sheet down here, some plastic bags. Our spray shouldn't get too far out we're nice and covered up so now we have to spray this side and this side and then they got to tack up a little bit it says apply two coats of adhesive to each surface apply second coat in opposite direction as the first allow adhesive to dry until tacky one to three minutes and then mate the surfaces to be bonded Uh, it's been about one minute between one and three it says to start uh, and i think we should probably start now at the one minute mark because by the time you get to the other side it'll be about three minutes or more so you start working it up into place and then we've got those pry tools and work it into that groove around the edge here how sticky that stuff is it's already holding. Yeah, it's got some stickiness on that glue there too on the tape. Just make sure it's nice and flat. You can yeah. see you can feel the chemical reaction while cold and that's kind of moist feeling now. Yeah, it is. It's kind of weird. And then we'll just work that down in the edge there all the way around. As you're putting this stuff in the panel, make sure that you start from one side and work to the other. Don't do half of this and half of that. Otherwise, you may end up with a big bubble in the middle of extra material. You're gonna to try to move it from one side to the other. There's a lot more material on this side now. Yeah. That's probably because it's all stretched this stretched way. Stretched this way, yeah. Seems to be going in there though. Yes. It's definitely the easiest way to do this. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So now you gotta pull this down. Look how nice this is. Yeah. Well, keep working because you gotta pull it down. You have to go back to the other side. Did you pull it down over there? I don't know. That's it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Check the other side right quick. Yeah, there's just a little bit hanging out over there, I think. Yeah, you're right. Just pull that tape on down. No, 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 it's not. It's good. Pulled off, and now we're just smoothing out any little ripples or bumps that we might see <coughs> along the edge, but that looks really, really good. It's amazing how well that looks. Looks almost like a new car again. Yep.
right guys i know y'all have seen this car uh in the background of some videos and i probably moved it around in some of the videos and stuff um this car is actually pretty special and uh pretty special to uh, me and daddy too right yes and uh you're probably thinking it's just an 06 mustang but what's special about this thing daddy it has 7,398 original miles. So it's a brand new 06 Mustang. It still smells like a brand new yeah. car in here. Yeah, it's, it smells amazing in here. It, uh, it, it drives like a brand new car, smells like a brand new car, works like a brand new car. The, the, the shifter is real tight. I mean, it's, I mean, it's literally brand new. I mean, you can't find another one that, that performs this good. Even the ones that I've seen where people have fixed them up and worked on them, I've rode in them, None of them are as clean as this. This is what I compare all of them to. So I've actually looked, I've owned a couple um, that were, I had two 07s, one that was a California Special and one that was just a GT. And and that was back when they were fairly new. So now trying to find one as good as this, it's extremely hard to do. So check this thing out. still moves out pretty good you know it's yeah, no, you know, it's, well, it's not yeah it, and it's nothing compared to new model cars i mean now 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 numbers have gotten insane i mean now that you can buy an, an 800 horsepower car yeah. for 70 grand i mean that's that's insane you're right yeah i think uh mustangs are probably the most fun car you can buy don't you um, uh, all of them i mean you know we think so because we're kind of uh, guys, Mustang guys, but um, well, even the '60s models are fun cars. Not super powerful, but they're fun cars to drive. I mean, that was the whole pull that Ford went for. That's why they sold so many. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then when the '80s Mustangs came out, I think uh, a Fox Body Mustang is probably the uh, best clowning car oh, yeah. ever ever made. <laughs> thing sounds great too so what all what all's been done to the exhaust <clears throat> we did a uh, muffler delete and i put uh resonators like what resonator three tips. inch three inch uh resonator tips on it that's that's all yeah it's amazing how just the muffler delete will make it sound like good it's essentially the exact same uh way i did the uh the s2000 and I, I just think a muffler elite and resonated tips usually sound really, really good. So, and it's got enough of a, a tone. And what was on here when you bought it? It's the only thing that was done to this thing, right? Yeah, I had. Yeah, it was a very expensive boiler exhaust with a four-inch tips on, them, and they were terrible. Yeah, super loud, super droning. Droning. I mean, yeah. It could, I couldn't stand it. Some people might like it, but I hated it. And what did uh, Mama call them? Four legs. Four leg exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Four leg exhaust. Four legs. So, this is the GT uh, premium package, and what does that include? What do they have extra on these? That's the aluminum trim, and on this one, they come with a Shaker 1000 stereo system, which has the 210 uh, subs in the trunk. So, this thing sounds, the stereo sounds. Yeah, late 90s and early 2000s Fords had some of the best stereos in them. I don't think they make stereos like they used to anymore. Like, even like if you had a, a 96 model uh, V6 Mustang, the stereo on it sounded great. Or a 99 Explorer, the stereo sounded great. And uh, I just don't think stereos sound as good as they used to anymore. 